Hey YouTube, welcome to TCTN, the Crazy Troll Nation. I am D or Dion. This is gonna be a quick video about my beauty sponges. Before that, thank you for being here. If this is your first time here, welcome. I call this channel the Crazy Troll Nation because I could be crazy, I can be loony, trip over my words, I, I make up stuff and say things that don't make sense. So if you like that kind of thing, you will love this channel. And also I talk about a variety of topics which I will label my videos accordingly. So if there's something you don't wanna hear about or see, then you don't feel like, oh my gosh, I clicked on this video and I can't stand it. And troll because I consider my, myself a troll, cute troll, but a troll nonetheless. And so thank you for being here. Um, this video is about how, to, how I clean my beauty sponges my first experience with using a beauty sponge was with concealer and all and, I, and the sponge i did dampen it you know you wet it squeeze it out all of that stuff and i used it for concealer but because i don't do the whole triangle thing there was not enough product for the sponge to blend out and it ended up just lifting it off of my face and i'm just like what's the big deal with this and so i said you know what i'm going to keep trying you know, it's all the rave beauty sponges. So I tried it again and I am really liking it. So I wanted to try different sponges. So I have three that I have and I bought this case, which I don't, I never clip this and take it anywhere. I just keep this at home. Um, but anyway, so I did get the case just to keep them together. The one that's not in the case, I don't even remember which one this is, but this one I like because when I'm doing my foundation, it fits right under my eye, like perfectly. And then this side I'll use for the actual foundation part. Another one I have, which I really like, is the Real Techniques, Real Techniques um, sponge. And this does have a case, which is way over there. I should have brought it with me. Um, Dry your, make sure your sponges are 100% dry before you put them in any type of carrying case because with the case people were saying, oh, I got mildewy, got moldy. Well, because you're putting a wet sponge inside of a confined space. Yeah. So, but this is another one that I like, but it was challenging for me to hold. I don't like to get my hands messy when I'm doing makeup, um, which is why I like this one because then I can hold it in the middle, use this side, and then use this side, and the middle side stays clean. The other one I have is this shape, so and I think I saw this one maybe at TJ Maxx or somewhere. So I'm just trying out different shapes for different reasons, blah, blah, blah. And so I'm like, how do you clean these things? I am in the habit of cleaning my makeup brushes after every time I do my face. If I don't wash them right away, I wash them that evening when I get back from wherever I am. My brushes never stay dirty overnight, never. So I'm like, okay, I'm not gonna do sponges that way because that just breeds bacteria and I think that is just gross. So I did, <laughs> there was, um, I don't know if it was like a rewards thing or something, but it was a sample of the Beauty Blender bar of soap. Complimentary sample of your favorite friendly Blender Cleanser Solid, perfect for blenders and brushes. So that's what it says down here, piece of lint. And it was in, it was in this plastic piece, which I think will not, will it come off? I don't know. But here's the bar of soap, and I have been using it, so it's really thin, but it came in here. So after I use it, I just sit in here and close it up so that my countertop doesn't get messy. I liked it so much that when I was at Sephora during the 20% off sale they recently had, I actually purchased the full size one, which I have not used yet. I love that it comes with a soap holder because as we all know, when soap is wet, it tends to slide around. So I like how it has a holder, but for me, I'll probably just use it in and then just keep it in the container. So I haven't used it yet, but I liked the sample enough to go ahead and purchase it. So what I do, and I found out this does work for brushes as well. So what I do is I'll put this in my hand, wet it, and I'll take my beauty blender, and it is challenging to like hold a wet bar of soap, especially one so small. So I'll kind of just cup it in my hand. The sponge is wet, of course, the soap is wet, and wherever the foundation or concealer is, that's where I rub it in, get it in, and then I take the brush wherever it is and try to get the foundation or the concealer out. It never comes 100% out. We know this, I think we know this. So I'll do that all over the sponge. And I only use one sponge at a time, so I'm only gonna just demonstrate on one sponge. 
So wherever the foundation concealer is, I wipe it up, rub it, rub it, get it nice and soapy, and then I rub it in with my fingers, being gentle. My fingernails are stubby, so I'm not in jeopardy of tearing the sponge. But if you have nails, be very careful if you decide to try this method. Squeeze out the soap, rinse it, hold the sponge tight, get all the water out, put my hand under running water, slowly open my hand, let the sponge absorb the water, and then of course it gets really big. So then I'll do the same thing all over again, maybe two, maybe three times. Because they're still residual, as you will notice, I have used this sponge numerous times. Do you see any foundation or concealer or any discoloration on here? I do not. This one, do you see anything on here? Looks brand new. This one, I actually used this uh, yesterday. Look at that, I used the bottom part. Do you see anything on here? I use this part, I use the top, I use this side over here. Do you see anything? So I'm not saying the process I use will work for everyone, but it works for me and my sponges. Then what I do is, I have, <laughs> Any jar with a lid will do. I have a Talenti's Gelato <laughs> ice cream container. And so what I'll do is I use Dawn detergent because this will cut through anything, in my opinion. Anything I need <laughs> detergent to cut through, this will cut through it. So I will just put just a little dab in here, put some water in it, shake it up, fill it maybe like about to here. Shake, put the lid on it shake it up put my sponge in it well prior to that put the dish soap in it put a little bit of water in it shake it up get it nice and soapy this may be a quarter of the way full squeeze all the water out of the sponge this is after i've used used it with the soap okay so i'm squeezing everything out then i drop it in the soapy water put the lid on shake it up get it nice and soapy open it add a little bit more water because the sponge absorbs the water so you want to add more water shake it up and I let it sit I let it sit in the soapy water put the dawn dish detergent in it 20-30 minutes take it off take it out dump the water out squeeze everything that I can out of it put my hand under running water slowly release my grip let the sponge expand look at it squeeze keep doing that if it still has residual anything on there i'll put a little bit more dish soap in here water put it back in shake it up let it sit some more squeeze <laughs> let water run in it let it expand squeeze everything out water in it let it expand look at it and because this is a dish detergent and because my skin is so temperamental i will then sometimes take my baby shampoo which is what i use for my makeup brushes and i will just Get it soapy, squeeze, 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 rinse it, squeeze, squeeze, and I will let it sit on my dish rack overnight till it dries. That is how I clean my sponges, and I will show you again. I just used this yesterday for concealer and foundation, and I'm sure it also helps. Excuse me, I am like so, I'm like sweating. Um, and I'm sure it does help that I do wash these after every time I use them instead of waiting a day two days three days four days or constantly using it and it's dirty because then it's just I I'm not shaming anyone I'm just I, I just I'm not able to do that <laughs> so I'm sure that helps too but this is my process and so I will show you again my sponges look brand new and I have used all of them numerous 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 times so that's it let me know how you guys are washing your sponges and if you do want to use the soap for your brush since it's already soapy and i don't have a brush right here while this is soapy in your hand just wipe your brush on it get the brush soapy and then squeeze it out i don't really like it as much for the brushes because it's um the soap is drying i do prefer the baby shampoo and i do use the one that's tear free supposed to be gentle if it's gentle enough for baby skin and hair and it says gentle for eyes it's hypoallergenic paraben and whatever free <laughs> i'm not even going to butcher that word milder than any baby soap 
And so any baby shampoo that's tear free is what I use for my makeup brushes. So I do prefer that for brushes, but the soap does work as well. And that's it for the video, for this video. So thank you guys for being here. If you have any questions, comments, please leave them below. Subscribe, hit the notification bell, and you guys will see me in the next video. Thanks. Bye. Okay, guys, I came back on really quick to just show you the container that I was talking about for the Real Techniques sponge. It actually came with the case, and it was only like an, a dollar or two more than just the sponge on its own. It doesn't, you just put it in and click it. It doesn't really snap or anything, but it is very sturdy. It doesn't pull apart too easily, so it is good for traveling purposes. What I was talking about with the reviews on Ulta is people were saying that, <laughs> that the sponges were getting moldy because they were washing them and putting them in here. <laughs> and then the next day they're like, oh, my sponge is molded, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, because you put a wet sponge in a closed in plastic container. And if they would have read the instructions on Ulta for this product, it says make sure sponge is completely dry before you put it in a storage container. So that's all I just wanted to, I'm just, I'm just baffled sometimes. Um, but anyway, <laughs> so this is the container that I was talking about. So thanks again for watching this video and you will see me in the next one. Bye again for good this time today. I think we'll see. <laughs>